The uh, meeting of the Finance Committee will come to order at 9 o'clock on March 29th in the first floor meeting room in Town Hall. And today's agenda is continuing with our warrant articles and uh, our positions. So uh, I think I'd like to go over first what we're going to cover. I have to leave at 9.35, and Janice is going to take over. That's why I know she's coming. Um, and uh, some of these we're going to put off till next Thursday. The um, zoning ones we'll put off till next Thursday and invite Chris to come. Uh, but today, let's see, I marked the ones that I have to do. Okay, we can do um, today articles uh, one, well, what looks like one and two, and then we can do the assessment method for the regional schools. I believe we have all the information for CPA, correct? Yep. Okay, and. And um, the bond authorization articles we could probably vote today. That's why Gilford's here. Okay. He's going to just quickly go over the Northampton water main placement okay. and the uh, um, property. Okay. We can, I think, do the coal access, Groth Park, the easement in South Hadley, um, and the abandoned water line. And then there are several that I we just put out there, and I'm not sure um, that they our finance committee issues, the the the, uh, the recycling committee, the agriculture committee, those are memberships they want to change, but they're not financial, but we can decide that as a group. And then the last three are petition articles on noise, nuclear war, and the Paris Climate Agreement. But for net, did you get your warrant? Did you bring your warrants? The draft ones. So anyway, so for, for next week, we would put off all, we will do all the zoning next week, which is the energy, marijuana, uh, supplemental zoning, the demolition zoning, so forth. And the inclusionary zoning. So, okay, so the first thing though, we will start uh, with Gilford Mori, who has some, what, 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 what? We could do the borrowing off, the, there's two borrowing ones. And I'm talking about the easements and oh, okay. the, the abandonment and the property in Harlow if you want to. Sure. Why don't we do those and then you don't have to come back. That would be great. <laughs> so, <laughs> that's, that's, uh, not that he might be here. Yeah. You, he, you love visiting with us. Did you just review which one of the guys? Sorry. Okay, and we'll just go through them okay. as we go. So, uh, what's oh, the... Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Do you have the order of them for him? Why don't you do the two borrowing articles first? And which, okay. where are they on the sheet? Back of, back of the back grid. Back of the grid uh -huh. that we just received this morning. And they are the ones... Well, actually, I can do all three of them. Okay. Yeah. Transportation water fund? No. So the transportation fund? Mm -hmm. So we've been pushing and developing a project to re-pave um, and redo the sidewalks with a parking lot right here in front of you. You open up the windows, that parking lot. Mm -hmm. um, we're coming to, uh, we pretty much got the plan set. The only thing that's going to change is what's going to happen in the common. And so what's going to happen is, is they're going to design the common. The, we call that the North Common. They're going to design the North Common and improvements to the North Common and then put the two together as one project. So the authorization will pay for the parking lot only and then there'll be the common project will be separately funded, but the two projects will be actually constructed at the same time. CPA funds, That's right, the CPA funds are part of the North Common, right? right. Or all of it? I think it's all of it. Um, oh, okay, good. good. So, so there's been a couple of projects that have gone through this um, Community Preservation Committee mm -hmm. and they've been voted mm -hmm. and the money's sitting there waiting for the project. They want to do the parking lot and the sidewalks at the, very, at the same time. Mm -hmm. And this money would be to accomplish the parking lot and the sidewalks. Okay. Right. So the, the goal is, is that they're going to stage in the parking lot, do the common the park, do the common work, and then as they pull out, they'll finish repaving and repairing the parking lot so it'll all be pulled out and be done at one time. 
there won't be two projects. Okay. Uh, you've presented some of this before. I mean, kind of in the uh, initial stages where people were thinking about what we would do there. Yes. Okay. Any questions of Guilford on this item? Okay. Um, do you have, did you have, would you like to vote on this now? Is that clear enough to vote on it? Or are you, are you going to want further discussion, which would be next week? What? Okay, it looks like it's good. All right, then, all in favor of this, um, it's 400,000. 450,000. 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40. Where? 450,000. Transportation? 450? It's on the list in the back. Transfer, I know, I have 400,000 on this. Oh, do you have the version? Um, may I have one of those as well, please? Okay. Thank you. So we're voting seven chance in daily. That's okay. I, I realize that. And, th and that's not a problem. We, we'll move with it. Okay. Uh, yeah. A motion for may, 450. Yes. May I just kind of clarify one thing? Sure. Before we go. So is there a, an uh, extra allocation going on for sidewalks compared to previous years? In the capital plan? I think there is, yes. So this is obviously not the capital plan. This is, trying, mm -hmm. uh, this is part of the capital plan, but it's solely for this parking lot. In the capital plan, there is a, a group of miners. So, so is this parking lot like uh, part of your long-term plan that kind of showed up? This is the time for it. Uh, well, it was actually scheduled two years ago, and it kept getting pushed off because it got linked to the North Common. Okay. And the right. North Common is this one right out in front. Yeah. I think a lot of times we think of it as North Amherst, but it's really right out yeah, in front. South Common, North Common, I understand. Right. Okay. Well, I didn't in the past. Oh. <laughs> Janice. Um, is this a finance committee article? That's what it says on the left side. It's probably. It's I know, but it's listed as finance committee. What? Oh, it's, oh, is it, oh, it's assigned to the finance committee. I'll clarify that. I'm pretty sure. Okay. Yes, we can ask at the motion review. Sure. Okay. Um, just when we say borrowing, where are we borrowing this from? Or how are we borrowing this? The bank. Just okay. Just to strike, like, mm -hmm. like it's getting, It'll be paid from transportation funds. Okay. Transportation funds. Okay. Right. And, uh, but hasn't that money already been allocated there? Like we don't have like a transportation fund. What you saying earlier that this money has been sort of already allocated for this well, project? Well, CPA funds have been allocated for okay. the for the North Common part. Oh, okay. And how many? How much is that? <sighs> how much of that? Was it like three eighty and four or something? Yeah, it's close to close to eight hundred thousand. Yeah. Okay, so if this costs four hundred and fifty thousand, I guess I'm just missing the. So why can't we use those funds to cover this four fifty? Because mm -hmm. community preservation funds are restricted for use. Okay, so how much? How much of those can we use to go towards this? None. 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 Okay. This is that's what we're That's where we're borrowing. Okay, so we have to borrow. Yeah, okay. and this will probably get. We probably have a bunch. We've got more borrowings. This all get rolled up in a one. No. Okay. Yes. Okay. All Thank right. you. Just wanted to clarify for the television audience as well. Good. All right. Do I hear a motion um, to uh, for for this article for four hundred fifty thousand? Is there a second? All right. Second. Uh, any further discussion? Okay. All in favor? Six. Zero. One absent. Okay, the next one is the water fund. So we have an old water line which runs down North Hampton Road, which starts at South Pleasant Street, runs down. This, the old part of the line stops somewhere around Freed University Drive. But this line is a six inch and an eight inch water line. It goes, so it goes from six inches to eight inches, six inches to eight inches. Um, we have a lot of problem with this line. It's old, it's got a lot of tuberculation in it, which is just rust inside the line. Uh, we get a lot of dirty water calls, uh, so we've been planning to replace this line. Mass Highway is coming in to repave Northampton Road, so we're trying to match up our water line work to go with their paving work, so that's what we're trying to do. So the goal is to replace the sixes and eights with a 12 inch line, which runs from South Pleasant Street all the way down to U Drive, and that will be the new backbone for that section of town and improve the water quality. And we're estimating it's about $2 million worth of work. Okay. So this is similar to what you did on Pine Street when they had to go in and 
redo those lines and you did the painting. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Other questions of Guilford for the $2 million uh, water fund? And yeah, this is coming out of the water fund, it comes out of the taxation. Yes. And Mass Highway, do they cut the subsidized part of this? Well, Mass Highway is going to be paving the road. They're going to so, be, okay, so they do that part. part. Right. So all we have to really put in is we have to pay for the water line that goes in, and a mm -hmm. little bit of patching, and then all the other stuff is done by Mass Highway. Okay. And when do you estimate this? I was just told by the town manager it's getting moved to 20. 20 or yeah 2020 right now okay. so we were thinking it was going to be next year but so next year we thought it was but it's going to 2020. oh the paving 2020 yes but we're going to start this before that we'll probably do some of this start some of this before then but the majority of it will be done during the construction of the road okay i do uh are there further questions do i hear a motion for this article Ooh. A second? Second. Okay. Uh, all in favor? Or further questions? Okay, all in favor? Okay, 601. Okay, the next one. So we often talk about we need to upgrade our wastewater treatment plant and we're waiting for some more information on our permits before we actually decide how to do it. But we have one key piece of equipment, which is the gravity belt thickener. It's Gravity. gravity. I know it's gravity there. No, it's gravity. <laughs> well, <laughs> that's my fault. <laughs> this is, discussion's good though. Huh? It's called a gravity belt thickener. And what it does is it takes the sludge from the, pro the process and it gets the water out. It takes the water out, condenses it down to more solids so that we dispose of solids. We're not paying to ship liquid and solids off to be disposed of. So we pay about anywhere from four hundred and fifty to five hundred thousand dollars to get rid of this sludge. So if you add more water to it, your cost of disposal goes up. So this machine, which has been in place for about twenty years now, um, is at the end of its life. We need to replace it. We're going to set this machine up next to the current machine, so we'll have two. Um, the new one will be a primary, and this older one will be the secondary. Um, technically, we're supposed to have two means of the condensing our sludge and we actually do have two means but no one has started the second means in 20 plus years so we're not really sure it works. Second <laughs> means? A secondary it's means, a secondary yes. Way. It has to be a secondary way of condensing your sludge. Um, Condensa so. Sludge condensation, is that another? That's a technical term. Yes. Yeah, condensing, yeah. <laughs> so that's, that's what we're, that's what this machine is for, and it really is a million dollars, which kind of blew me away. Um, we have to do some piping to connect it into the system, but the machine is a million dollars, and all it does is, if you want to come see it, we'll show it to you. But the liquid sludge comes out on one end, flows across the belt, and has some wedges which push on it. The belt also has some forces that pull on it, so water is pulled through the belt. The solids are left on top. Yeah. And basically, yeah. the material <laughs> looks, looks like, um... Silly buddy. Right. <laughs> we get the picture. Be on TV. <laughs> you are really excited. <laughs> <laughs> so He's going to edit that out. Okay. No. Basically, no. Basically, <laughs> not, <laughs> kidding. It's not Taco Tuesday, so... It basically <laughs> looks like taco meat when it comes out the other end. Uh, it's that consistency of dryness, but it's still moist and it's... Okay. It's That's, cheaper to haul and get rid of. Yes. <laughs> it's liquidy when it comes out the, the first part, but you definitely get rid of a lot. You see the water is going out and going back into the process, so it's very important. Okay. Joe, um, what do you estimate sort of the break-even on this? So we, we, we spend a million dollars on this machine. And what's, have you guys kind of forecasted what's the break-even point in terms of where you start to save that money? So actually, if we were to um, not, if we were not to condense our sludge, we basically would double our hauling costs. So okay. instead of saying four fifty five hundred, we'd be paying about a million dollars. Wow! Really? Okay. That's per year. Per year. So in two years, the machine really pays it's for itself. Okay. okay. Uh, right. So okay, maybe I've asked this before, but I guess I need the re-education. So these uh, machines, uh, at some point, the maintenance cost probably goes up, right? So, uh, so the older machine, for example, right now, what are the maintenance costs on it? Well, the problem we're having with the older machine right now is that um, 
the, it's worn to a point where we actually have to start replacing some key components on it. So the rods that hold the wedges on it, and there's a couple other things we need to replace. Um, so we've just always seen is we probably have spent probably twice what our normal budget is in the last two years on, on that machine. On that machine for how much would that be? It's about forty thousand, fifty thousand dollars a year is what we're spending right now. Uh, to and if you if you make that investment, does it work well? Uh, it works, but it doesn't work as long as it used to. The machine used to work. The machine used to be taken down only twice a year for maintenance, and now we sometimes take it down for four times a year to five times a year to actually adjust things and put things back together. Because I'm thinking a million dollar a million dollar machine, the the financing cost of that would be about fifty thousand dollars to put it five percent per year. So you are for the on the new machine, you're going to be spending fifty thousand dollars a year anyway. On the uh, all of that cost is going to uh, go away. So I was just kind of curious about, you know, you are doing all these because you have only a certain number of dollars and you have all these machines that require replacement and maintenance and stuff. At what point do you decide that um, uh, we can't, we, it's no use owning this machine anymore, let's just kind of send it off, can we, can you sell it off in the secondary market? Is it possible? Is there a, is there a price for it? Will somebody buy it? No, there's no salvage value for the old machine. Okay. Yeah. All right. Definitely. So just to clarify, the old machine is going to still need to be made. Uh, the old machine will still be there and still be the backup. So like five times a year, you have to do maintenance on it. Well, no, because will you be using the new You'll machine? Using it less. Okay. A, right, yes. And then the new machine. What are you anticipating for maintenance on that? It's about twenty thousand a year, so roughly what the maintenance is. Okay. Janice. So, um, I don't remember how much we have. Um, like in reserve in the sewer fund, is there any that could go toward this to save the <coughs> building? Um, I don't have the balance uh, with me. It's I have it. It's probably in the budget book. It's about I just did the sewer fund. Okay. Close to one, one six, isn't it, or something? Yeah, it's probably in the budget book. Yeah, it's in the budget book. So you've been doing the transportation, water, yes. and sewer funds on a rug? Yeah, I just sent those to you. Okay. Uh, would you please do the write-up on these three also? Which ones? The, right, the ones we're talking about right now. They have to, so There has to be a write-up for them also. For which ones? The, the ones we're just voting on. For these, oh, these ones? Yes. Would you, since you're doing them anyway for the report under the budget, would you please do these? As part of, uh, they're separate articles. Would you please? Sure. Okay. Sure. I mean, as soon as I get the minutes from Sharon, okay. I'm just doing that. That's that fine. Thank you. Thank you. So, sewer fund. I have to, to uh, sign. Do you know what it is? Uh, I'm yeah, just trying to find okay. it. Sonia has it. It's 2.491. Okay. Janice, so you don't want to use any of that for this purchase? Okay. Yep. Tell me if you chose not to use the um, surplus funds for this. I'm just trying to see if we're using any surplus funds for anything else this year. No. No? Okay. Further questions? <laughs> okay. Are you ready to vote on this one? Okay. Do I hear a motion? So moved. And a second? Second. Okay. Uh, any further questions? All in favor? Six zero one. All right. All right. So Anurag will do those three: the <coughs> parking lot, the water main, and the gravity belt thickener. Okay. The um, what are your other ones, Sam Clifford? The easements are basically mine. Cole's access, public uh, access easement. No, the ones that the. Acquisition of easements the, the, at the bottom. When you come up, the next to last two are mine. Oh, yes. Okay. Uh, acquisition of easements. Okay. And then the, the abandoning the water lot. Yeah, those, actually okay. all three of those are ours. All right. You want to present? Um, I'll start at the bottom. All right. So the water line abandonment is a, um, when the neighborhood was built, um, in the human, in the human neighborhood, 
there was a water line that was supposed to cut and go under the railroad and come back up on Henry Street to connect and maybe be a possible way to have water recirculation so that there wasn't a dead end water line at the end of Kingman. Um, that never came to fruition because actually going into the railroad tracks is very hard and very expensive. So there's an easement there, but there doesn't need to be an easement. The property owner who lives there wants to <clears throat> build a little more onto his house but because the easement is there, he has to stay off the easement. If we aren't planning to use the easement, he asked if we would abandon the easement so he could actually enlarge his house. And that's why we're requesting to abandon it. It's being requested by the property owner because we're not using it. And in the future, it will never be used? It will never be used. Okay. Any questions of Janice? So there's no money involved in this? No money involved. Okay, do I hear a motion? So move. A second. Second. Okay, further questions? Okay, all in favor of um, this article? Okay, Monarch, are you on with us? Yes. Okay, 601. All right, we go for the next one. So in, in the neighborhood of Harlow and Rolling Ridge, there is a paper street that was left when the subdivision was developed. The paper street goes from Harlow over Rolling Ridge. There's a sewer line underneath the paper street and there's a drain line. Uh, the people who own the paper street have said they're never gonna make it into a road and the town doesn't plan to make it into a road. But the owner of the property would like to transfer it to the town and it can become part of whatever it, it can be later transferred to conservation for a conservation trail, or it can just be a town property, which is part of a sidewalk between the two neighborhoods. So uh, the authorization would be able to allow the select board to accept those two pieces of property as a gift. They're only 50 feet wide, and they're about 150 feet long, both of the properties. So, and there's just a trail that goes between the two neighborhoods. And like I said, there's a sewer line underneath it and a drain line underneath it. Was this part of that, um, some years ago, uh, a road that was going to connect um, east and, and, is it east and north Pleasant? Uh, no, it's not. Okay. It only connects the two neighborhoods. Okay. Isn't it that, like, if that's at the end of um, Hobart Lane? In a no, it's not. Not Hobart Lane. <coughs> uh, it's across the street. Uh, no, it's not. Oh. <laughs> 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 is it the mass agriculture? Is it that, 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 that so. field, right? Oh. No, it's not. Well, oh. Where is that? <laughs> Hollow is it? Yeah, yeah, totally. Yeah. I know Sorry. we're rolling. If I knew you were doing these, I would have kind of bought more stuff. What's um? What's a paper road? Is that just a paper road? It's on You see it on the map. I think I've seen it. You see it on the map, but when you get there and you want to drive down it, it's not there. Oh, oh, oh fuck that. Your GPS term. will send you yeah. to it. Because, oh, oh yeah. okay. I've just never heard that term. Okay. I just saw that the other day. Yeah. The paper, paper streets. Paper, paper river. Mm -hmm. okay. The fee symbol on a road. Oh, fee symbol. Yes. Yeah. The fee symbol of the road. Well, Harlow is is the North Amherst neighborhood. Real estate exam. Right. It's the North Amherst neighborhood. It goes, the, the, this little section goes north-south. It doesn't go east-west. Oh. Uh, oh, okay. That's probably a better way. Oh, I know then where that is. I don't know where Harlow is. It's what we call Jonesville years ago. It was a subdivision up there. It's up in your neighborhood, isn't it, Anurag? Harlow and... Um, is Rolling Ridge on on both the west and east sides of East Pleasant? No. So, yeah, so it's in there, it's in that. I'm, I'm not sure I followed what you asked me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Is Harlow Drive up where you live? Yeah, it's right okay. there. Okay. That used to be, the whole area was developed by the Jones. It was called yeah, Jones. it's the Jones neighborhood. Right. Yeah. And then it's Harlow goes. Oh, I see Harlow. And then okay. it goes over to Rolling. There's a paper road between Harlow and Rolling Ridge, which um, is. Is that north of them? Is it on the west side of okay. Beach? So it's on the other side of well, Beach Street? I live right there. Yes, yeah, it's right here. Okay. Yeah. Makes sense to you? Yeah. Okay. Makes sense to Honorable. Is that in the Hartman? 
So this is this Hot is Harlow. Hot. This is Rolling Ridge. This is Hartman. And there's these two little parcels. That's what we're taking. Okay. It doesn't go. It doesn't make some grandiose path to go to UMass or anything. It's really small. Okay. All right. Uh, not to get that. So um, confusion. Do I hear a motion for this article? There's no. There's no money involved. Do I hear a second? Second. Is there further discussion of this article? I'm, I'm sorry, can you just clear? I'm, I'm messing this. It. So you're taking these for right away for the town? We're taking this town property, yes. Uh, it's being given to us. It's being given to us. There's no take. It's being given to us. It's, it's just being given to you. For, because a lot of people you from that neighborhood come down here this way and walk. Right, it's just going to stay a walkway. Oh. So you will add, you, are you going to pave it or are you... No. Are you going to leave it like that? Okay. It's going to be paper. Paper. <laughs> paper, paper. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, hearing no further questions, all in favor of this article, please raise your hands. Okay, six zero one. If if we weren't adverse to it, we would issue a taking just to make sure. Okay, uh, uh, yes. uh, Guilford. So um, the other article is a group of easement takings for different road projects, and I'll just kind of talk about them because yeah. I don't have the drawings with me. Uh, one of them is the West Bay Road sidewalk project, which town meeting people from Applewood came forward and asked for a sidewalk several town meetings ago. We've designed a sidewalk. There does need to be some takings. There needs to be a taking from Applewood. There needs to be a taking from uh, Eric Carl Museum and a Hampshire College taking. And these takings are to just extend the layout of the road a little bit so that the sidewalk can fit within, can fit. Um, all the property owners know about it. Um, everything is working out okay. Um, there is, at this time, no money involved. And I, like I say, in the, like I always say, if money does become involved, and it's a substantial amount of money, it always has to come back to the, to the well, it, it comes back to town meeting for appropriation. So it's, this is not a blank check for me to go spend everything I want, anything I want to spend. Sign has already beaten that into me pretty well. <laughs> <laughs> so the you need you need to take um, property from uh, easement on Air Carl Hampshire College in Applewood. Yes. Okay. And this is for the West Bay Road sidewalk project. The other projects are um, we have a project which is going to be on Belchtown Road, and this is a project which is going very fast. Um, so we don't have all the details worked out. But we're going to have to take some pop properties between Southeast Street and Stanley Street so we have room for a sidewalk. There has to be, according to Mass DOT, who's hopefully going to pay for the road work and the project, we have to have a sidewalk on both sides of the road. So we will end up having to take little pieces along that whole section. Um, so that's what that one's for. There is, um, there's five. Right? I don't have all that writing. So there's um, there's one on Main Street. The one for Main Street is actually a oops. Um, we actually repaved Main Street in front of the um, oh. the women's club <coughs> and the boys club, and we put a sidewalk on private property. And the owners are okay with that, but we just didn't go through the process of taking care of all the paperwork at the time. So this allows a select board to go ahead and accept these as gifts and take the pay take care of the paperwork and tie up the titles and get everything squared away. There's um, one for East Pleasant Street, which is at the uh, Village Village Park Apartments. Mm -hmm. okay. We need to take property from Village Park Apartments and we need to take property from UMass to upgrade the bus shelters there. We're gonna put a bus shelter on the, and a pull off on the west side of East Pleasant Street and on the east side of East Pleasant Street. We're also gonna run the sidewalk from Village Park to Olympia Drive. So we're slowly, we're slowly working on extending the sidewalk up East Pleasant Street and we're improving the sidewalk, the bus pull-offs as we go along. So that's what that one is. Um, oh, so, um, when you say take property, just to be clear, it becomes the town property that? Yes. Okay. Some of it will become permanent town property, some of it will become temporary town property. It'll be property we're allowed to work on and to disturb and then we have to put it back and give it back to the front homeowner. And when would you have to do that? Who decides like when you would have to turn that back to 
the homework? It's once the project's over. Okay, oh, just back. Okay. Yes. Okay. Um, gosh, oh, shit. Um, there's one more. There's one more. Is that the coal access? No, it's. Um, it's not listed in the back. It's in the, actually in the morning. Okay. Um, I did West Bay Road. You did Belchertown Road. Did East Hadley Road. Oh, East Hadley Road is the last one. So East Hadley Road from, uh, from West Street to the entrance to the um, last apartment complex, so which is South Point. There's a pro project that we're working on, which is going to widen the sidewalk and make it 10 feet wide for a multi-use path. And because it's the road, the sidewalk's getting wider, we need to take property from um, the boulders and from the Mill, Val Mill Valley entrance as for right-of-way issues. So that's what these are all for. Um, we've talked to all the property owners and all these, except for the Belchtown Road one. No one, no one has seen that one. No one, we don't really know what that is yet. So, um, but these are all the take easements. And like I said, if there's a substantial amount of money needed to take one of these easements, it has to come back to town meeting and be the money has to be appropriated for the taking. We should have no difficulty though out by um, Applewood since they want this. Applewood is fine. There, there might be a little issue um, with some Hampshire College issues. Well, that could be in lieu of taxes. Uh, there, there could be. There's other. There's something else going on. Okay. Isn't there always? I don't know what it is. Yeah. Well, the, 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 the in lieu of taxes thing. You, you know, if you're gonna, if you're gonna take property um, and then give something bad, it has to be some equal value there. So it, you, you dance those things around. And again, I know people are allergic to the term taking, but in each of these, there should be a taking and pay the landowner a dollar. So clearly the title and there's no problem in the future. But that's too complicated for some consideration. Yeah, and in, in line so, with that, I was just, again, getting back to um, kind of in line with what Brent is saying. So if someone, if, when you give that land back, you, do, you let's say, put down the sidewalk and you give that back to the property, what happens if the property owner says, I, I now want to build a tree there and I want to like, take apart your cellar? Can they just do that? It's, no. Okay. So this, this, anything that's a temporary easement is usually only uh, only needed for during construction. Right. So if we need to move a machine to the back side of the sidewalk to access something, we yeah. need an easement to put the machine on their property. Okay. If we need to we build the sidewalk and we raise the sidewalk up two feet, we need to regrade their property. Okay. That's a temporary easement for regrading. Okay. So those are the things we're doing. So it's not like when it's done the piece we get back is where the sidewalk is. Oh, the I piece, see. The piece is just their property that had to be taken. Oh, okay. I, I didn't understand. Okay, thank you. That's great. Okay. That's, that's a good question. Okay. Further okay. questions, yes. And these are a mix of These are a mix temporary of permanent and takings permanent. and okay. temporary takings. Okay. Any other questions? Okay. Do I hear a motion? I so moved. Second. Okay. Uh, all in favor? I'll list some more questions. All in favor? Okay, Take six. It. Where is that one? We're kind of hoping this light shows up one night at like 9.50. <laughs> Where is this? 55. On the sheet? You start the article. Is it on the sheet? <laughs> These? Just finish it. Oh, acquisition. <laughs> oh, here we go. Six, zero, four. Okay, do you have any others, Guilford? Just my budget stuff, which... Oh, well, we've, we've done that, I okay. think. We're, th we're through with, um, yeah, we voted that. Yeah, well, good. Yeah, that's good. Okay, thank you for coming. You're welcome, I hope I helped. Cool. Thanks, good to see you. Excellent. See you soon. Uh, yeah. Thank you. <coughs> okay, uh, there are just a couple I'd like to do before I go, because I'm working on them. Um, the regional school district assessment method is what was in the draft warrant. I checked that with um, Sean Mangano. So um, I would like, you've read it, it's, um, it's for one year only because the committee could not decide a permanent, um, you know, one that we could open the agreement 
and vote on it and make it part of the agreement so we didn't have to do this every year. But we don't know the long-term financial implications of this particular formula that they've come up with. So this is for one year, and they've uh, adjusted their budget around this. So do I hear a motion to accept this method? So moved. A second? A second. Okay, any so further discussion? So it's the one right in here? It's the one that's in the draft board, yes. It's just for you, one year. I double checked mm -hmm. that with him. Okay. okay, all in favor? After that, we'll do the council. <laughs> Um, let's see, yes. Okay, and then the other one, oh, that we have up here, um, the, ex the acceptance of op optional tax exemption. This is, this allows, uh, you have it on the table in front of you. This uh, allows some personal exemptions that the state put into a that the town put into effect in 19 something, 1996 or so. It's in your warrant. It's the first item. Or no, I'm sorry. It's the third item. Um, this is. Are we talking about this? Yes. Mm -hmm. And so the the um, the town. Let's see. It pays. I believe it's thirty-one thousand seven hundred. Twelve dollars. It came into effect in '94. So do I hear? This has been ongoing. This is something we do every year. And David Burgess gave us the updated numbers. Is there any question about this? Can I just clarify one thing? I mean, I understand the surviving spouse, military, and blind, elderly. Um, it's elderly blind. Elder it's elderly blind. Yes, it, el it just not elderly by itself. It's connected to. Let's see, hit that piece of paper here. Um, Is there an age for elderly? <laughs> well, I asked the fire department that. <laughs> yeah. There is, there is, okay. but I. Be, I don't know. Because when their dispatchers go out, they say a child, sure. elderly or whatever. But I don't know what it is, and I'm not even going to say because right. I may fall in that category. <laughs> So it's, it, it, when it, it says limited income elderly, so, okay. uh, you know, we could ask David for It's okay. Yeah, I mean, I just want but, to. But it does include that. And then blind persons, veterans, and surviving spouses. I assume that veterans and surviving spouses go together. So. And again, I just, uh, quick, so this is an exemption for what exactly? A personal exemption. It reduces their oh, property the, taxes. Property. Okay, thank you. So, surviving spouse, surviving spouse of military, uh, or surviving spouse generally. It looks as though it's the surviving spouse of military. Only military. The way it's how, how do you see that? How, how do you see that? Because these are all separate. Yeah. Here. Yeah. Yeah. So you're, you you were saying elderly blind. I'm not sh blind to the different yeah. category. A surviving spouse, military, that's a different category. Hmm. Do we have what you're well, looking at as well, Mary Lou? No, this, I mean, this came out, this, this has been in the um, Finance Committee booklet for a number of years, and we've just repeated it, and David Burgess looked at it, and he said that was correct. All right, let's post, do you, you want to postpone that vote? No, I don't want to postpone that. I trust that town is doing the right thing. I'm, I'm just okay. kind of inquiring. Would you like to trust if they No, oh, I have seniors, to so. Seniors are 70 and older. Okay. 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 Um, the exemption, there's a, and I apologize, I should remember this stuff, but I don't. Seniors are 70 and older? 70 and older. The mm -hmm. exemptions of the clause of 17, 17, 17 and a half, or 17 D. Um, let's see what that. <clears throat> but but even right. this says elderly or blind person. Right. Okay, let's wait process. until next week to vote on that, since we're not sure. Okay, in the meantime, I'm going to turn this over to Janice, and uh, we will do zoning next week. 
and we're planning to end at 10 so that anything left over we will do next Thursday. So um, are we finished with the more article part? Or what do we have to well, we can, you can vote other things. Yeah, vote other things. Sonia can guide you through that. So we're, I don't have numbers for budget amendments, and I probably won't have numbers for the warrant. There won't be any numbers in the warrant. I'm waiting until the last minute. Okay, we can, I'll here. talk with you about that. Just so you know, probably want to vote those eventually. <coughs> So um, we need to revote the debt number. That's why it's highlighted in yellow. Okay. So the original debt. debt came in a little lower, so we were able to bring the debt down. The original number we, we voted on was two million two hundred nine nine sixty. It is now two million one eighty seven eight forty four. What and why did you say that went down? The region uh, so it went down a little. It was a lower. Than expected. Okay. So, is there any more discussion on that? It's our debt. Yep. Um, so, all in favor? Oh. I guess someone needs to make a motion. Yeah. Never mind. <laughs> I'm not very good at it. So moved. Second? Second. Any more discussion? Okay, um, all in favor? Okay, so it's five to zero to two. Okay, well, your CPA, those are the right numbers for CPA. I gave you the reports last week, right? Mm hmm. Okay. Oh, I have a question about that. So, the CPA packet, um, when he came, the Epstein land purchase was included in the main number, but it's separate here. Is that because it's a land purchase? It has to be a two thirds vote, so we have to break it out a little more. So, so the general CPA projects will be part A, okay. the nine hundred and fifty-five thousand six forty-five. So we have two parts. Mm -hmm. There's actually three parts, but um, the debt is always part of the general fund debt. So if you were to total this up, you'd have to add the debt number to it to get the actual approved projects, because debt is always what it is. Town meeting and CPA is included in that, and the funding source is from the CPA fund for that portion of the debt. So we don't have to vote on that part? Separately. No, you just did. The 2187. Oh, okay. Included in that. Okay, so we just have to uh, vote on A and B. Um, are people ready to do that? I just one quick question. Just to be clear, I, I'm sorry, I missed that. So the 113000 is going towards the purchase of the land? Yes. Is that correct? Thank you. Okay. Any more questions? If not, is there a motion um, on part A for $955,645 for general CPA projects? And so moved. Second? Second. Uh, all in favor? Five, zero, two absent. Okay, now um, we have the CPA part B for $113,000 of land purchase. Um, I so guess the total is 270000 So moved. Second. Um, any more discussion? All in favor? 502. Okay. So the one at the bottom of the page is the um, CPA rescission of bond authorization for coal property. This, um, this is brought for the CPA last year where we were going to purchase a portion of the co property, but um, things change and they build a subdivision there and now they're donating a piece of land for the town easement to get to the trails. So this uh, borrowing authorization is no longer needed. 
So we need to rescind this authorization. And it has to be done by a town meeting about an order to go away. So it's just a housekeeping item, basically. There's no money involved. involved. It's just the authorization. Okay. Um, so is there any, any more questions for the discussion? Okay, so we want to make a motion. So moved. Second. Second. All in favor? 502. Would you favor money? Yes, I agree with you there. Okay. It's an easy one. And then I, the capital on the flip side. Okay. This is just for the cash capital portion of the art of um, capital articles. You can see the capital plan, and there's a lot more projects listed on here, but some are grant funded, some are Chapter 90 funded, some are um, borrowing, and some are um, ambulance funding. And again, all the borrowing is embedded in the service. Right, uh, right. <clears throat> so this is just for the cash portion of the article. So we heard about these last week. Yes. Or whatever it was. Mm -hmm. um, I should say tax supported portion. <laughs> so cash only. Yeah. And so it's a the amount um it's all tax supported. There's a part for equipment and a part for buildings and facilities. So Right, so if you look, these these pages aren't numbered on here, but let's see. Third page, bottom of the page, upper equipment, tax, total tax supported equipment, 876.925. That's the number you're voting here. So, is there anybody? Say, oh, oh, go ahead, sorry. You said page two? Yeah. Bottom of the page. Mm -hmm. Facilities. So it's five fifty-eight five for buildings and one million four forty-nine three sixty-four for facilities, which includes roads and stuff. So this is just the total of those two. Okay. Um, any further questions? We did this part also last week or the week before that. Um, so moved. Second. second. All in favor? Five zero two.
unpaid bills, I'm 99.9% .9 sure that will be dismissed. <laughs> Do we vote on the anyway? Do we vote on those first two anyway? Yeah, this usually doesn't it. get missed until town meeting. So I don't, I'll have to go back and look and see what you did last year. So we can move, we can vote uh, before the town meeting. Mm -hmm. We can meet 6.30 or 7. Right? Mm -hmm. We've done that mm -hmm. before. So, what did you do last year? Voted to dismiss it. Okay. So, but we have to, I guess, know for sure, closer to the time that no bills arrived, right? Yeah, you did vote budget amendments last year without a number in it. If you look at the finance committee book. Because mm -hmm. that won't come into play until the motion is right now. Um, but actually, the numbers are there, but they're just someplace else, right? No, they're not here. It's not, no, no. I mean, because you have like the control accounts, or, um, they're in the general government section until they get moved. This is moving funds from if there are savings in police and we need it in health insurance, okay. I'm going to move it from public safety to general government. So these are like last minute things. So you, it looks like you've always voted just a sum of money. But there, but there are money that have already been appropriated in some other place. So there is the not, salary reserves that get allocated. Yeah. Yes. So, but that's all part of this. And we don't know that until. But it's not more than the amount, the total amount we've already seen for dollars. I mean, it can be. It will never add money to it unless it's a, like Part B and Part C where we're adding money to reserve fund transfer. If we decide to go forward that way, we would take money from free cash or surplus, uh, overlay surplus, which is what we've done in the past. But um, moving money between the funds is usually just been a sum of money and it can be different money but a net zero. Yeah. It just goes back and forth between the um, between the functional areas. Which so, is general government, public safety, and community services. Yeah. But it's not like taking it out of free cash or anything. It's just you've already been in another budget. Not part of it. No. So we we essentially could Vote on that if we wanted to, I suppose. Or do you want to wait? Well, I think we, we might as well wait at this point. We can just wait until the, just before the town meeting. I mean, yeah. That's what I would think. Okay. Yeah, for all, for all of us. I mean, uh, uh, mm -hmm. shouldn't, it, we shouldn't require a lot of time before town meeting to make yeah. decisions on that. But we have yeah, all the information there. Right in front of them. Right. Mm -hmm. Right at the table, right there. Right there. I mean, we, you know, uh, I'm not. Works sure. for me. Seconds before. It's just uh, the write up that I'm. We go into a little art room there. Is it just deferred to town meeting? Yeah. Oh, we can just yeah. be right there in front of the town meeting. I love it. Okay. Slice it up. Okay. I'm not sure Anything else? Oh, just as I'm starting to get the hang of this thing, it's going away. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of the way I feel. I'm like, oh, it's starting. I'm like 60 percent there. <laughs> I mean, this is stuff will. This is fine. I've been here seven years. I'm done. It just it won't be. I, I, I got to find something. I got to find something. <coughs> um, yeah. So, did we cover all of those uh, in one way or another? I'll send them to all you. All that I know of. I know there, there are more article <laughs> added. Um, for thank you. In order for voting for the charter, I'm not sure what it's called. Because the charter passed, there'll have to be a special election in November or something to yeah, vote charter right. members. Mm -hmm. So that article is getting added to the warrant. Mm -hmm. But I don't know if Finance Committee needs to have any action on that at all. Would it matter? There is money. Yeah, right. Right. Exactly. Well, that's good. There's money I'm for an election. I'm, sorry, I'm, I'm also team. assuming that the, 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 that was included in the clerk's budget. We need to bump up some. 
numbers for. Uh, we did not. I don't believe we did. No. Okay. Because we, we didn't count on the vote happening either way. So, anything else? Um, I think that's it. More? Moves affecting the budget. Um, status quo at this moment. Okay. Um, select board policy on unused municipal property. That was a report that Mary Lou had me hand out last week, I believe. I'm not sure what she wanted to discuss on that. That was. Is there a committee? I'm looking at the property, like we were told that um, when the town manager was here, he said that they were forming a committee to look at um, surplus buildings, property, and use for them or sell them. I have to check with him and report back next week. Okay. Um, committee liaison reports. No. Uh, yes. For. Um, TPW fire. Uh, we don't have a meeting date yet uh, set up. <laughs> I, 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 right. So I, I, this is me. I, mean, I, I, don't, I know. And so so, uh, so I got you know I got, I got an email from um, uh, from Kay Moran, uh, waiting for developments uh, for on-site possibilities. Completed fire station feasibility study. We'll let you know when a meeting is scheduled. So uh, it's from the horse's mouth. So it's, it's not me. That's your report. Yeah, okay, right. thank you. Um, minutes of previous meeting. Um, I think Tim sent out minutes, but I did not read them. I don't know if anybody else has. So we'll wait on that. Um, I did post the other one, so that's up to date. Anything else we need to talk about? I'd like to just clarify how many sheets. This dark green on the side here, this is basically for me, but it's just mm. letting me know that I've already sent this in to be printed for them. So you, I've received those write-ups and they've been sent in to be put into the finance company book. Mm. Yeah, that's what I figured. So, okay. okay, and um, so I don't know if we are meeting next Thursday or not. I, I think sure we are. are. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yes, we were so not not today, but no, next, next meeting. Yeah. Day. One meeting a day is fine. Yeah, <laughs> I was like, oh my god, that'd yeah. be so yeah. crazy. So next <laughs> Thursday. <I'm pumped. laughs> Here. Right. Anything else? Thank you. I have five minutes on my parking. Woo! Hey. Right. What time? Oh, four four minutes and ten seconds. Wow.